So uh, this is my Cinema Wasteland update. Um, I'm actually going to also include a couple that came in the mail. And, uh, you know, uh, at Wasteland, I stopped at two family videos with uh, a couple friends. And uh, right when I got home, I stopped at a couple others. So I'm going to include those as well. So, you know, some odd titles that <laughs> normally wouldn't be in my Wasteland update. But let's start off with the VHS. I grabbed uh, Plank Face. Good deal on it. Uh, you know, I was involved with this movie. Uh, I was in it. Had a small role. I like Scott, Brian. They did a good job, I think. Cool movie. Uh, the Phantom Killer, which I actually have seen. They have the old DVD of uh, just waiting on my uh, Tumbling Doll of Flesh VHS still. So, uh, yeah, Phantom Killer, that's pretty cool. Then let's get into the Blu-rays. The Vinegar Syndrome, Witch Trap, I reviewed this. Really enjoyed the hell out of it. It was a Kevin Teddy movie. Looks great on Blu-ray. Have not had not seen it before. Taboo 2 and 3, now I have 1 and 4, so I'll check those out. Uh, China Girl. Babyface. Slaughterhouse. I think everybody, right when they hear the name Slaughterhouse, just basically has to say it like that due to the trailer. It's been so long since I watched this movie. I remember being kind of lukewarm on it. Psycho Cop Returns. This is pretty freaking cool. Uh, yeah. This movie's actually super fun. If anybody's seen it, directed by Adam Rifkin. Uh, super sleazy, super gory, and uh, better than the first one by a long shot. First one's kind of just mediocre, not horrible. Double Exposure. These slip covers, I believe, are limited. So if you like them, uh, you know... Don't wait on them. But, uh, yep, that's the Vinegar Syndrome stuff. I uh, got some Arrow stuff. Uh, this one I had not seen, not heard much about. It was a good price on it, 10 bucks. I didn't have it. I actually had to double-check and make sure I didn't have that one. Outlaw Gangster, uh, the complete collection. Again, good deal on this, 20 bucks. I buy these when I see them a good deal. I got these over at the uh, Michael Felsher table. Diamond Guys, I don't know. Uh, the Katsu Diamond Guys, Volume 1. Suture, which I reviewed. Pretty cool movie. Didn't have the actual edition of it, the actual DVD of it. Good movie. Good stuff. Kind of an art film, for sure. And then we have some regular Blu-rays I picked up. Horns. Yeah, this was dirt cheap at his table. I bought this because my actual case got damaged somehow. Drove me nuts. I don't remember how. Robot Jocks. This is a Stuart Gard movie. Pretty fun. It's been a long time since I've seen it. You know, I don't know if I've seen that one. I said, I've seen Crash and Burn. I don't know if I saw Robot Wars or Robot Jocks as a kid. Uh, Frailty. You know, classic movie. De Palma. Wanted to check this out. Good price. Pigpen. Uh, I heard that the original Blu-ray, which I did see, had a messed up sound. I couldn't hear anything. So this is the, the one with fixed sound. So hopefully that's cool. Vampire Ecstasy and Send You Sinners. Glad I grabbed this one. Double feature. Found Blu-ray. Pretty cool. Scott Shermer movie as well. On Blu-ray. I always enjoyed that one. Night of Something Strange. Uh, reviewed this one. Thought it was fairly decent. Uh, good enough to get on Blu-ray, I thought. Dark Waters from Severin. Uh, love Severin. Not seen this one. Used to be on a No Shame disc. The Other Hell. Uh, used to be on a Street Show disc. This is Bruno Mattei. I have seen this one, although I do not remember anything of it. So, But uh, I'm sure Severin does a great job with it. Doll Man vs. Demonic Toys. I used to, I grew up watching this movie on the Sci-Fi Channel. I enjoy it, you know, mixing the two and mixed bad channels as well. Hideous, this one always cracked me up. I like the hell out of it. So, Dark Angel, The Ascent, hate that cover art, garbage cover art. But uh, we got Nicholas Worth on there, pretty cool. Let me get into a couple I just got in the mail. Uh, Syndicate Sadist by Umberto Lenzi from 88 Films. Uh, the the Mildew from Planet. Oh, geez. Hexonator? I don't know. I'll have to hear that one said out loud before I know how to say it. But yeah, this is like the re-edited version of Mold by, uh, I love that movie. But uh, the, what is it? The, uh, man, I can't remember those guys' names, but the guys who did Adam Chaplin and Tater City uh, basically added a bunch of gore in there. Necrostorm, there they are. Uh, Beyond the Valley of Belief, Volume 1. It's actually done by, uh, you know, the guys who did Fang Boner and uh, the Big F. Amazon Jail. Cool underground. The Drowned. America's Deadliest Home Video. The Black Society Trilogy on DVD. Arrow. Man with Screaming Brain and Alien Apocalypse, $2. Didn't have these. Didn't think the Blu-ray was worth it. The Trail of Dracula. Hogwild. I'm going to have to review that one. Someone handed it to me to check out. Amityville, No Escape. 
Vampire. What else do we got? I picked up the Slaughterhouse magazine. Slaughterhouse again. I'm gonna do it. Uh, and a couple t-shirts. I got the new Ultraviolet t-shirt. With La Terry from Last, Dead Ho uh, Last House on Dead End Street on there. And uh, I think I had this shirt or similar, but I think it got ruined. It was like five bucks. So I checked it out. Pretty cool. And I uh, got a couple posters here. From Severin. These movies are freaking ridiculous if anybody's ever seen them. The InterVision stuff. So silly. Bruno Mattei again later in his career. Still ripping off movies and making them entertaining as shit. What else we got here? This is cool. And a little big F pin. So that's pretty much everything I uh, got. Wasteland was a little uneventful this year. I, I took some video camera, but I always have a good time regardless hanging out with friends. There's a couple things that happen really cool, but you know, for the most part, I, I, maybe I was just lethargic. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and have a good one. Now here's for some uh, Blu-rays I got at the Family Videos. Again, very cheap. A lot of these were a buck. It's cheaper to buy them than to rent them. So Cabin Fever remake. This was, I think, five bucks. So, you know, I wanted to check it out. Didn't want to pay full price for it. Uh, Ouija. Heard mixed things. Heard some bad things about that one. So that's why I got it used. Cabin Fever, Planet Zero. Uh, have seen this one. Didn't want to pay full price. I think I have the DVD. Uh, Knights of Bad Astum. I actually got this because I didn't have the slipcover. But guess what? I ripped the freaking slipcover. It was a dollar. So, you know, I bought a dollar slipcover. Disaster LA, The Last Zombie Apocalypse. Again, a dollar. Looks like the cover is printed off. No Escape, uh, you know, this is recommended to me by somebody. I thought the trailer looked like it could be good. The Visit, uh, I wanted to check this one out as well. I uh, heard good things. Now for the DVDs, I'm going to go really quick through these. Uh, the Bride, Team America, was a dollar. Can't pass up Team America for a buck. Gin, Toby Hooper, The Last Survivors, most of these a dollar again. The Mule. Carnage Park from Scream Factory. So yeah, a buck to check that one out. Kill Your Friends. Strange Blood. I thought that one looked pretty cool. LA Slasher. I already had this one, I think. I accidentally got a double now. But you know. Glassland. Night of Living Dead. A lot of these are on Netflix, but I can't on Netflix. I never watch it. Bigfoot vs. Zombies from Wild Eye. Fender Bender, Hungry Hearts, Panzer, looks like a Nazi zombie movie involving a German tank, Kids vs. Monsters, a dollar, uh, I saw the trailer for that, it looks iffy, it's got a lot of people in it, Malcolm McDowell, Keith David Land, Tenderson, you know, Manson's Lost Girls, you know, The Keeping Room, these are all DVDs, but they're cheap, Under the Shadow, I've got, I think I paid five for that one. I wanted to check it out. Candyland. This is recommended by Ryan Logston. Dead Man Apocalypse. Last Girl Standing. Trash Fire. Wanted to see this. Almost imported a Blu-ray, I think, or did I almost buy the Voodoo on HD? So, Inheritance. I think I have this one, but it's like a dollar. Dead Z. You know, you have to do the 10 for 10 deal, so you sometimes grab doubles. Hunter Prey. Hashtag whore. The Frontier. Truth or Dare. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, long story with Tim Ritter and whatnot, not, but I bought it used, if that helps. I'm just curious, you know, to see how much it was kind of like, like Truth or Dare for. Uh, Scars. Crazed. <laughs> it's just like a su cheap suicide squad. That's what it looks like. I don't know what it is. I'm interested. Incubus, that guy also, this is a double. That's William Forsythe and Robert England. All Girls Weekend. Oh, I actually forgot. 